क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन रेडार डिटेक्टर इज यूज टू मेजर द स्पीड ऑफ ए कार द कार इज मूविंग विद द स्पीड वी ई टूवर्ड्स द डिटेक्टर इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स इट लाइक दिस द डिटेक्टर इमेज माइक्रोवेव ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ एन सी डिटेक्टर इमेज माइक्रोवेव ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ एन सी ओके विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज द चेंज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द माइक्रोवेव मेजर्ड द डिटेक्टर आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन बाई द कार वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज दिस डॉपलर इफेक्ट ओके वॉट काइंड ऑफ डॉपलर इफेक्ट इज दिस सी देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डॉपलर इफेक्ट वी हैव स्टडीड The first one is using acoustics, that is your uh, your sound waves. The second one is your electromagnetic waves. See, look here. So you are using something like what kind of waves? Microwaves and speed c. So this is not equal to three thirty meter per second. This is just less than the three into ten power eight meter per second. So this is your electromagnetic waves. Whenever you are using electromagnetic waves, what formula you should use? You should use delta f by f is equal to v by c. This is what you should use. Okay. Now, now what's happening over here? Now, uh, a car is moving towards it. It acts like a reflector. It acts like a mirror over here. Okay. When the wave rays go goes over here, it gets reflected and comes back to this one. The relative velocity with respect to the detector. See, I am not asking you what is the apparent frequency in a Doppler effect as we had done in our acoustic waves, in your sound waves. What was the equation there? There we asked. If this is my source, this is my observer. What is the apparent frequency heard by the observer? That's what we ask. But here it is not the case. Here the source is here. Observer is also here. Did you understand this? Okay, source is here. Observer is also here. You are recording the frequency over here. So therefore, you want to find out what is the change in frequency. So thus, the velocity which you record here is nothing but this will be a relative velocity which should now be equal to two times v over here, right? The velocity of the car, okay, will be equal to two times v because it is nothing but the velocity of the image. Okay, see, you would have done some problems in your uh, uh, in your eleventh in your eleventh or twelfth grade uh, while you do with the reflection of an object, right? If you keep a mirror like this over here, if you keep a mirror like this over here, and if an object is coming towards it, now you ask the question with respect to me. Okay, let us say I have a mirror before me and I am running towards the mirror. With respect to me, what is the velocity of the image? What is the speed of the image? Will it just be v? No, it won't be v because okay. So if the image is a mirror is coming near by you, it appears that you are moving towards it, and the image is also moving away from you, right? So as a result of it, okay, image is also moving towards you, and as a result of it, you see the velocity will get doubled over here. Velocity will get doubled over here. If you did not understand this concept, just put a comment on this video. i definitely take up this one and give you some more examples to illustrate this phenomena okay thus what will happen here is that this will just becomes 2v and this c remains constant so delta delta f will be equal to 2fv divided by c this should be your answer 2fv by c it is your answer d